All right, Libra. I had to pull another deck of cards because your cards kept falling on the floor, and this was aggravating me. <laughs> so, hi, series on our reading. Um, this is your on our reading from December tenth to the the third to the tenth. All right. See a general reading from the third to the tenth. I'm using the Rider Waite Smith Tarot deck, the original Tarot deck. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not all reason, so not all messages is gonna resonate with you. All right. The first card that we have as your overall, we have the Page of Swords. So there could be someone keeping tabs on you or you're watching yourself. Also, some of you guys could be going cloud watching, or some of you guys might be going on a nighttime drive with somebody. All right. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. And then I say that nighttime drive, and I just seen the Seven of Wands again, which is what you had in your your other reading. Your other, the reading that I started, it was basically about you still being open to someone that caused you a lot of heartache, but it's hurting you even more the more you keep trying to get over a situation. Yeah, see, the Ten of Swords reverse. You're still, like, you're, as much as you're trying to get over it, because the Ten of Swords talks about getting over something, but it also can still be open to reconciliation. It's a type of energy, all right? I feel like you want to move forward, but this person has, like, this person still has a pull for on you, and you have... You still think about this person a lot. This person does watch you. We have the tower card that just flew out. So we could be dealing with a, a Scorpio. Also seeing the chariot, the cancer. There's something very significant about the nighttime drives. You will be receiving communication from this person. But I feel like it's something that you need to leave alone. Because it's, it's not doing you as much good as it is, you know, bad. We had two fours clarifying each other. Why is the ten of swords in reverse? I just seen the ace of yeah. I'm gonna take it. Or should you give me one card for the overall energy for Libra. We had the six of wands that flew out. Could be done with a Leo, and the five. I feel like you guys are trying to make something successful with someone that you left out in the past or someone that could have did something to you that you had to leave out in the past. I feel like you still have hope in the situation subconsciously without you even realizing. I feel like there was a lot of pain in the situation and I feel like you're trying to move away from it, but at the same time, you still want to, you're still looking at it with the four cups. You're still looking at it. I feel like you're being pushed somewhere else, but you still want this person. I feel like you will get communication from this person for sure. But at the same time, with the four pentacles, you're confusing the universe. It's like, it's like, do you want to heal, Libra, or do you want to still be here? With the Page of Swords and the Hierophant, not the Hierophant, the Hermit, could be doing one of the Taurus. You could be sitting in, the the Hermit is Virgo, but I said the Hierophant, so I said Taurus. You could be watching this person on social media or keeping tabs, or you keep, you could be keeping tabs on them in the 5D. And what I mean by that is usually when someone has dreams about you or you have dreams about someone's because they're keeping tabs on you. Also, my nose is freaking itch. Yeah, because every single when your nose is itchy, that's a sign of communication. I feel like you guys really want to make something work with someone that caused you a lot of heartache that you had to leave alone. And it's like you're indecisive because you still want to deal with this person, but you know it's not a good thing, but your heart still calls towards this person. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about Libra? Give me three cards. How does this person feel about Libra? Give me three cards. How's this? What's the current? How does this person feel about Libra? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. How does this person feel about Libra? Six of Pentacles. And how does this person feel about Libra? Six of Cups. Okay, we have a lot of sixes. So this person is very stagnant. I feel like this person does think about you and they do miss you. Why is this Queen of Cups in reverse though? The heart, the hangman of Amazek like, again. Yeah. Um, this person is <sighs> this person does care about you and they miss you. The, they miss the memories that you had, but this person is not as emotionally invested in this connection as you are. This person views this connection as something that is gratifying. It gives to them, it gives them what they need and what they want, and they do care about you, but it's not you're they're not as emotionally invested as they as you are this person trying to look at something in a different perspective their mind is kind of distracted by something and i feel like it's by their own life so while you're focused on this person this per this person is focused on what they got going on this person does care about you but i don't see them as invested as you are which is something that you want i feel like this person wants to like they want to give to you but not in the way you want to give to them if that makes sense 
what's the outcome for libra what's the outcome for libra from december 3rd to the 10th we have the knight of wands we have the queen of wands in reverse oh my gosh libra no and we have the eight of swords in reverse higher power in reverse at a moment thing Could be doing with Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Pisces, or not Pisces, Gemini. Could be doing with Pisces. No, I don't have Pisces here at all, actually. No, I actually do. I have the hangman. Pisces, Gemini, or um, Taurus. But I see you guys giving to another situation that you don't really care about, that you don't think about. It's like you're going to try to distract your mind with some with a fling or a situation like that, which is not good. Do not do that. I'm just telling you this now. It's like you're going to try to it's like you're going to try to invest in your other options because this option is like you're trying to make up for what this option is not doing. This person that you want is not doing. So you're going to be investing in someone that you're not really committed to is just flingy. Which is going to cause you hurt at the end over two people in two situations. Um, yeah, Libra. There's a need for you to take time out. I feel like you're just doing this to get your mind off of this person, Libra. Don't do that. Just actually do the healing work, Libra. So when this person comes back, you don't really care. Okay. We have surrender now exactly stop trying to leave us stop trying to run i feel like you keep trying to put your mind and your love life wherever the case is but there's no need to put your mind on on yourself and do healing claim your independence exactly this is codependent energy we have three 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 you guys could be seeing three 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 we got two cards we have wow <laughs> It literally says snake. <laughs> it says snake spirit, time to heal. And then we have take the lead. Exactly. Exactly. It's like Vama is like we have life as a mystery. It's like you keep waiting. You keep waiting. Under that it says lay a solid foundation. I'm gonna get into that. But it's like you keep waiting until something bad happens for you to take the ownership to work on yourself. It's like you keep trying to go to other options or other situations to avoid healing. But it's a need for you to take your independence and stop being codependent on other people to make you happy and make yourself happy. There's a time for you to do healing, all right? We have surrendered now. So there's a need for you to leave both situations up to the divine and take the lead in your own life and stop worrying about somebody else's. We also have lay a solid foundation, all right? Well, lay a solid foundation, it's like you're not being stable within yourself, which is causing other people to not be stable within you. You don't choose yourself first. You don't go home. You go to other piece of people's houses first, if that makes sense, okay? It's like... <clears throat> You don't choose yourself or your foundation first. You choose other people's, which causes them not to choose yours. All right? But it says time to heal. There's a need for you to stop avoiding healing and actually do the healing work and be independent. Release codependency. You could be seeing 555 and 333. 333 talks about your angels being right next to you. 555 talks about changes happening around you, okay? So, Libra, this is what I have for your general reading from December 3rd to 10th. And, yeah, I hope it resonated for you. Um... Everything else is down in the description box below if you need anything, okay? Alright.